Good morning, Community Family Church. It's so nice to spend some time with you again this morning. Today, I want to chat about life. And I want to start off by reading John 10, verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. In this familiar verse, Jesus is actually explaining to us the main reason why he came to earth and why he died for us. And it can be summed up in one word, life. Jesus came to demonstrate to us what true life means. He never promised or guaranteed that we won't have trials and tribulations, but he does guarantee that we will have life and have it in abundance. The first bit, part of this verse unfortunately speaks to the enemy or the devil that comes to steal and kill and destroy. And he does. He wants to rob us of this life that God has promised to us. I don't know about you, but the devil has really come to steal my joy um, a few days um, in this lockdown period, especially in this lockdown period. I've had days where I felt like all the dreams that I've had um, for 2020 has been destroyed. And that's exactly what the devil wants. He wants us to believe that our dreams are too big or too good to be true. He wants us to believe that he has the victory. And we shouldn't allow it because God has overcome the enemy. God has won. God has the victory and therefore we have the victory. We have life in Jesus because we received it as a free gift the moment we accepted him as our father. We have to step into and take ownership of this life that God has given us freely. One day, all of us will have to account for our own lives. We won't one day be able to point fingers at others or blame others um, for their choices or for what they did. It will only be you and God. And therefore, we have to take responsibility for this life that God has given us. You, in partnership with God, determines the design of your life. You aren't able to always determine the events that happen in this life on earth. You're not always able to determine the circumstances in which you find yourself. But you have full control of the atmosphere of your life and the atmosphere that people experience when they're in your presence. I really hope that all of you have a great day and that you will choose today to step into this life that God has given you and that you will choose to live it to the fullest and that the atmosphere surrounding you will be a nice and comforting atmosphere to be um, in the presence of. May God bless all of you. Have a nice day.